Hello, everybody. Today on the platform of Indian Online School, we have come up with another paper of grade six, level two. So before I start with the discussion of this paper, let me brief you about the questions and the marking patterns. So in this level two paper, you have a total of 50 questions. The first 45 questions carries one mark each. All the questions are from your science. And the last part is the achiever section that has five questions, three marks each, that is 15 marks. So total 45 plus 15, that is 60 marks in this 50 marks question paper, right? So let's start with the discussion of the paper. First question says the electric circuit shown here was set up by Ramesh. He placed a six centimeter copper bar X in an electric circuit. He closed the switch and observed the brightness of the bulb. Ramesh then repeated the experiment each time using copper bars of different lengths, eight centimeter, 12 centimeter, 15 centimeter. The aim of this experiment was. So here, the aim of the experiment was to find out that how bright the bulb is glowing. So here, the use of the different lengths of copper uh, bar is to find out the brightness based on the use of the copper bar. So the first option says to find out if the number of batteries affect the brightness of the bulb. This is not correct because in all the cases, the number of batteries are the same. To find out if the different positions of the copper bar in the electric circuit will affect the brightness of the bulb. So here also, the positions are same. It has not changed. Option C, to find out if the length of the bar affects the brightness of the bulb, this is the correct answer, okay? Question number two, four identical bulbs are connected in circuit as shown here. When the switch S is closed, which of the bulbs will light up? So here we can see that this is the battery, this is the switch, this is a metal spring, this is bulb one, this is an eraser, and here bulb two, three, four, and an iron bar is connected. So here they have asked that when the switch is closed, which of the bulb will light up? None of the bulb will light up. Why? Because it is being hampered the circuit is not closed if there is an eraser. It is hampering the flow of the charge, right? So here, none of the bulb will glow. So our correct answer is option number D. Question three. Sohan has three identical roses of different colors, red, yellow, and pink. He shines a torch on the three roses one by one and gets a shadow on the wall in each case. Richa, who is observing the shadow formed on the wall can. Shadows are always black in color, no matter what color of dress you are wearing or, or what color of rose is it, right? So shadows will never distinguish, right? So Richa's observation will be that she cannot distinguish the shadows of the roses. Right? Because all are black in color. Question number four. Which of the following statement is correct? Wheels of a cycle moving at a constant speed undergoes linear, rotational as well as random motion. Linear and rotational is correct. Random is not possible because it is a person who is cycling. Okay? So, in the cycling period, he will constantly cannot cycle it at a same speed. So this is a wrong statement. A hockey player running after the ball during a match undergoes linear and periodic motion. Never. It cannot be linear. It cannot be periodic. Because it is a random motion. Anywhere the ball can go. Wherever the hockey stick lets it go. The pendulum of a clock undergoes periodic motion only. No. 
it is not only periodic motion it is circular motion periodic motion and with as well as oscillatory motion okay so our answer is none of this question number five which of the following is not possible when a steel bar is being magnetized by the shocking stroke stroking method okay so here this is not possible okay let's see so this is the south of the magnet this is a stroking method this will become south this is becomes north this is correct this is north this become north and this becomes south this is also correct this is south and this is north okay so this is going up from here it is going down again so this is also possible but this is not possible see the arrow this side this is not possible this is the north of the bar magnet and this is a steel bar this is not possible so our correct answer is option number d question number six which of the following unit conversion is wrong one kilometer is 10 to the one nine micrometer correct one centimeter is equal to 10 to the power three no this is wrong okay so our correct answer is option number b question number seven the bob of a pendulum simple pendulum is swinging swinging between point x and y okay it takes 15.6 seconds to swing 30 times from x to y and back to x what is the time period of the pendulum so this is very simple just convert the 15.6 divided by 30 you will get answer to be 0 0.52 seconds right because it is calculated in time okay 30 divided by 30 divided by 15.6 okay 30 divided by 15.6 Okay, this is seconds. Yes, so you have to convert it into minutes and then you have to divide the number of times into the time taken. Okay, so you will get it around 0 0.52. Question number eight, match column one and column with column two and select the correct option from the given codes. Railway engine is quintal kg mg metric ton definitely this is p then packets of chili powder in gram this is q then sacks of wheat will mean quintal definitely this is r then bag of sand kg s and aspirin tablet will be in ng so this is t so our correct answer is option number a question number nine refer to the given statement and select the correct option statement one says when a horseshoe magnet is brought close to a pile of iron fillings more fillings will get attracted to the curved part of the magnet and statement two says horseshoe magnet has only one pole that is its curved part so if you know that horseshoe magnet it looks like a u shape right and we know the maximum strength of the magnet is at the poles so if we consider this to be the north pole this is the south pole right so the first statement is is wrong because the maximum strength is in the poles not in the u shape so this is the wrong statement and b also it is not having one pole or all the magnets have two poles no matter how small the magnet is all the magnets have two poles so none of the statements are correct here so our answer is option number d question number 10 match column 1 with column 2 and select the correct option from the given course distance distance is measured in mostly meter so this is p speed speed is measured in meter per second 
because speed is equal to distance by time. So this is Q. R is volume. So volume is measured in meter cube. This is R. Time period is always measured in seconds. That is the uh, standard unit. So this is S. Density is measured in kg per meter cube. That is mass by volume. Right? So this will be T. So our correct answer is option number C. Question number 11. The diagram shows a magnet being used to pick up a steel bar. The S pole of the magnet is close to the center Y of the steel bar as shown. What are the poles induced in the steel bar at X, Y and Z? So, as the S south pole of the magnet is touching Y of the steel bar, so Y should get the north pole. If Y is getting the north pole, that means Z should have the south pole and X also should get the south pole. Right? So our answer is option number C. Question number 12. Which of the following statements is or are true? First statement says an electric cell has two terminals, a positive terminal and a negative terminal, while an electric bulb has one terminal. No. This is wrong. This is a false statement. An electric cell produces electricity from the chemical stored inside it. True. A break in the filament of bulb indicates the bulb is fused. True. Switch is a simple device that is used to break the circuit only. No. It is a simple device that not only breaks the circuit, but also creates a circuit also. Okay. So this is also false. Thomas Alva Edison invented the electric bulb and the electric cell. False. So our correct answer is option number C. Which of the following statement is false? Measuring tape is not suitable to measure the width of a tree. Correct? No. Measuring tape is not suitable. It is suitable. Depends on the gate of the tree. If the gate of the tree is too big, no. But if the gate is small, then it can be measured. So this is a false statement. A suitable measuring device is must to measure the length of an object. True. In ancient India, small length measurement used where an angle or a mutti. Yes, this is also true. Electric train, monorail, supersonic aeroplanes, and spacecraft are some of the 20th century contribution. This is also true. So our correct answer is option number A. Question 14. Study the given table carefully and select the correct statement regarding P, Q, R, and S. Rough material, then P, we have to find the correct statement. Let's see. P can be replaced by metallic material. Metallic material, but iodine is not a metallic material. This is wrong. Okay. Q can be replaced by pumice. Rock, bark of a tree, sandpaper. Yes, pumice stone is also rough. And R can be replaced by honey, vinegar, miscible in water, Achha. milk. Yes, this is a correct statement. P can be replaced by lustrous material, graphite, metal spoon, iodine. No. Iodine is not lustrous. Graphite is also not lustrous. S can be replaced by aluminum foil. Aluminum foil is never translucent. So wrong. So our correct answer is option number B.